If wishes were horses, beggars would ride on a passing cloud or on the drifting tide. And to them it would seem there's no such thing as the impossible dream. In fantasy, reality is never too far. And we, like children, are forever reaching for a star. Sunshine. Time for homework. Okay? Come on. Get. Come on, Leo. Come on, Leo. Let's go. Come on. Come on, Leo. Come on. Come on, Leo. Come on. Leo. Come on. What's up, baby doll? Nothing, honey. What's up with you? Right now, everything is up, especially the cost of loving. That's a nice cat you got there. Yes. You like it? Sure. <laughs> you know something, honey? <laughs> this donkey doesn't like cats. He's an ass, but I love them. Come on, boy. <laughs> See you later, baby. Come on, Leo. Let's go. Come on. Tomorrow the first day. Where's Jim? 
Oh, you go to the National Service. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. I saw. I brought the pension. What's that, boy? I don't want the pension. Water. Oh. Get up. What's that? P. P. Yeah, P. Shooter. Ah! Ah! Oh, Susan, Susan, I'm dying. I have been shot by my old son, Susan. I'm dying, Susan. Oh, death, where is thy sting? Oh, grave, where is thy victory? Oh, Susan, where is thy sympathy? I'm dying, Susan. Oh, Susan, this is the end. This is the end, Susan. I'm dying. I can feel it, Susan. I can feel it. Death. Ah! 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 Look, Mr. Stone has a lot of money to give you tomorrow, love. We really get a good crap this time. Because if he don't rob you again. You know something? You gotta get rid of Pinhead. Pinhead? Why? Yes, Pinhead is no damn good as a watchman. If you ask me, he does more sleeping than watching. You expect the man to work all day and stay awake all night? Work, Pinhead? Look, Susan. Pinhead is so lazy and slow. Look, he fell out of a mango tree yesterday and he hit his head. And then five minutes after, the rest of the body come down. <laughs> okay, back to your schoolwork. So I definitely gotta get rid of Pinhead. Well, anyway, he was a good dog to keep watch. Oh, yes, if it wasn't for that faithful dog here on the farm, them bloody thieves would care of everything by now. And look who's here, Jim. Hi, son. Hi, Bob. How was your first day in national service? Okay. Keep it up, boy. It's my boy. Hi, Mom. Hi, love. Wait a minute. I hope you don't let a man stone come and rob you again tomorrow. You know. We need a lot of money. School, clothes, shoes. And the baby still need plenty of things to try, yeah? I know, I know, I know. But don't forget that the woman coming for the house rent next week. I know, I know. There's no use you're getting into a temper. Nobody is in a temper. But what the hell do you want me to do? success of your life, man. Stop worrying about crazy ideas and start working seriously on the farm. Farm, farm. You only believe, Susan, the only talent I got to be is, is to be a farmer. I got other talents that could be somebody else. And besides, I, I can't even give a children what they want. You, you, you believe I like live, living in, in this? Look at it. I gotta get rich, me. But look, love. When your father died and left the farm for you, he knew what he was doing. Oh, yes, he was a wonderful guy. He loved me. Some of the best high schools he educated me. They wanted me to end up being an ordinary farmer. You don't realize he made you independent? More independent than your two brothers in England and America who are working for other people? They're getting more money than me, though. You could make the same money on that farm. Susan, you, you don't understand the problems I have. No, let me explain to you. Now. Let me explain it to you. Maybe if I had a tractor, I had a lot of money, I could afford it to pay more men to plow the whole 25 acres, then the farm would show some success. But you don't always get the things in life you want. And besides, you know I am no good as a farmer. You're, you're a good farmer, Happy, but you're not a good businessman. I tell you, there's a way if you only listen to me. 
You listen to Big Chief, honey. Finish your own work, kids. No, Daddy. Well, if you got a problem yourself. Well, when I was at school, I never had a problem with my school work, never. My work, you never used to do any. <laughs> No, no, listen to that, listen to that. Listen to this. A mother should never sing a tune like that for a child. Why, Daddy? What's wrong with that? It's violence, honey. Listen. Walk up by the baby on a treetop. When the wind blows, the cradle will rock. And then the cradle and the breeze stops, and the baby and cradle back on the ground. I mean, it's, it's violence, honey. It projects violence. From the time you're small, it teaches you violence. So it could be. Why couldn't be like this? Rock a bye, baby, in daddy's arms. Mommy and I will keep you from harm. All your sweet dreams, the angels will keep. And so my little baby falls softly to sleep. Daddy, you know the old lady who lived in the shoe? Oh. The old lady who lived in the shoe? Oh, you mean the lady from Bath? <laughs> there was no lady who lived in the shoe. She had so many children, she didn't know what to do. She didn't know what board control. She gave them some broth without any bread. Sounds just like your mother. And give them all some and send them to bed. You see, violence again, Halima, darling. Violence again. Why couldn't it be she gave them some oval tea to strengthen the spleen? and let them go to sleep and dream sweet and clean. <laughs> uh, that is what about Jack and Jill who went up the hill. Yeah, Jack and Jill went up the hill and they caught a chill. Jack fell down and broke his head. Lucky they break something else instead. <laughs> I like three blind mice, three blind mice, see how they run. Oh, so, uh, uh, so, so, so. Blind mice should never run in the streets. We have enough traffic accidents. They all run after the farmer's wife who cut off their tails with a carving knife. Violence again, son. Violence again. They all run after the farmer's wife who cut off the tails with a carving knife. It's violence, son. Why it couldn't be? They all run after the farmer's cat because he was afraid of them. They were so big and fat. But daddy, what kind of rat go run after a cat? Your father. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy, mm -hmm. why don't you tell us about your school days? Well, Halima, love, I'll say tired now. Please, 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 Daddy. Were you really smart? Oh, me? I was the smartest boy in my school. I was on top of the class. Were you really teacher's pet? Mm-hmm. I remember one day, you know, I had a pet monkey, and I took it to school. We had a lot of fun. But it nearly got me into trouble, though. It happened like this. Cool 
and eat you with this room. Well, master, I thought you would have been happy to see one of your... What? ...pupils being kind to animals, sir. Why are you so unscrupulous? Why are you such a busy body? I'm a busy little body breaking up a lovely party. Mrs. Brown, she bought a butter man, she bought a cap, and everybody started out busy body. I'm a busy body. <laughs> <laughs> To lands of make believe a million miles away. Please don't wake me until I come back with a sack full of some fancy schemes. I'd like you to join me in the search for happiness. All the best is wrapped up in our dreams. Leave all your worries far behind Take them off your mind Throw them all away They've had their day By the way What kind of a day did you have? Did you have a very happy, happy day? I don't believe, I bet you must have had quite a lazy day. You know what I mean, a beautiful lazy day. Miles away, take me in your arms, 
and hold me tight do it right away the time is now i'd like you to close your eyes and kiss me once again and again we'll find a way somehow we'll find a Love, I know you're worried over the farm, the problems you're having, the children, me. But don't worry, love. Things don't work themselves out. You'll see. Happy, that farm could produce so much crops. We could be rich. Yes, honey. Maybe one of these good days. Right now, sweetheart, our production can go up overnight. You're right, love. Let's start right now. Beautiful and nutritious. Is your wife at home? Yeah, unfortunately. What you doing here, hero? I guess there's nobody else but Pinhead and Lucy from the farm. You should be back at the farm.
us, Mrs. Steer. Please be careful. It is our life. I understand, Mrs. Steer. I'll be very careful. Happy. Aye. Please don't let Mr. Stone rob you. You know the prices for crops going up. And we could strike a good bargain. Girl, if I didn't have this bloody contract with Stone. But anyway, don't worry though. You can get us at least 500. 500, Susan, you're joking. But, well, at least about 400. Yes, I average about 400. And if Stone Loan gives me what I want for my crops, I myself don't go in the middle of the market and sell them. <laughs> that would be the day. It could even be in the night, Susan. I'll do it. Now, one more thing, love. Please let Pinhead carry down Hero back on the farm, right? It's very important. I can see you later, right? Bye. Bye, love. We roll in now, missus. Okay, bye-bye. Love, the last time I come in this van, you bounce it off my heart, my back. This time, you're gonna be a neck. Look, let me tell you something. I got a lot of money invested behind me, right? You take your time and drive this. Ma, you always talking about money, money. If you had money like Stone, where would you do? I'd buy a cage for you. Thank you, because I ain't living no place. And then get the bananas free. <laughs> Since where you kind animals? <laughs> this is the weak way. <laughs> Jackie, take a letter to the Canadian High Commission. Yes? Is that Mr. Thorne? Yes, it is. We have Mr. Happy K here. Oh, no. He's not happy with the uh, prices. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, can I send him up? Okay, okay, send him up. Jackie, uh, Mr. Happy K is on his way up to argue about money, as usual. You know what to do, huh? Now look here, Stone, there's a lot of damn nonsense. I work hard to plant and reap my crops. And I bring in the biggest crop no your mom out of rob me again. Sit down, Mr. K. I'm not gonna let anyone rob you. Here, have a cigar. Thanks. Jackie, bring Mr. K his favorite drink. Now, what's the problem? Look here, Stone. My crops are worth over $350. And all your man is offering me is two measly hundred dollars. Thanks, Jackie. Now, these prices are very realistic, uh, Mr. K. You know how prices are these days. They're fluctuating. Don't try to fluctuate me, Stone. I've got a steady contract with you, and I keep supplying you regularly. Yes, that's right. Look, let me tell you something. The same stuff you buy from me, you will wholesale it for over $500, and then the vendors will retail it for over $800. No wonder the cost of living keeps going up. And it's people like you that cost me, Stone. Now, wait a minute, Kay. Do you think this wholesale business is a bed of roses? Let me tell you something. If there's a glut on the market, I stand to lose my whole outlay. It's a dead loss. Listen, man. I gotta worry about spoilage and storage and all those damn vendors who want to buy my crops for nothing and then turn around and make a fat profit. Man, they don't even plant a damn tomato. Yes, I suppose you just cry every morning when you're going down to the bank. What do you know about mortgages and overdrafts, taxes and overhead expenditures? Happy. Gonna try and see both sides of the picture. Look, Stone, I know that you got your problems, but don't worry. Things gonna get worse. And look, the only side I know is that everybody's making a profit off of me. Happy, happy. We're the last ones that should be quarreling. We're in this together. Good. Okay, pardon me. Ready to give me the $800? <laughs> oh, Jackie, what a great fellow Mr. K is. Happy? For old time's sake, I'll make this $250. Jackie, fill up Mr. K's glass and bring him his cash while I excuse myself. Bye, Happy. Bye. Here you are, Happy Darling. Thank you, love. How are things with you? Not like with you, Miss Connelly. Oh, come on. Call me Jackie. I don't mind. OK, Jackie. Hope I'll squeeze for that, please. Yeah. What did you promise me, Jackie? Sure, I'll get your money. Okay. Oh, come on, 
Jackie, relax. Come on. Come on, Come on baby. Turn me on, baby. Light me a fire. Ignite my spark plug. And let's blast off. <laughs> OK, honey, I'll be back. Siren, beautiful, exciting, ravishing. Oh, you're the perfect example of female poetry. You're always so gallant. Here, sign this for me, please. Sure, sure. Sign anything for you, Jackie. Jackie, don't forget a date tonight. No, tonight at 10 o'clock at the Yankee Club. Tonight? Bye, baby. OK. See you later, Romeo. OK, baby. OK. Look 
with the sun shining down a blazing across the sky look at the bird flying high over the sea just look at their waves crashing down explode wedding free look at the child coming home home to me had it be to be free to wonder free aha gentlemen and we'll be featuring the merry tones with Arthur Woodram on vocals and Bibi Pasia and Serena as your dancing dolls. Come on. <laughs> change for an American twenty dollars. Okay. Don't 
Don't worry, Dad, sweetheart. It's all free. Well, sock it for my baby. Waiter. <laughs> Hello, baby. Since you walked in here, you turned me on, baby. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you charged me up. That's what you did. Yeah, I'm in that way. Maybe let's have a ball. Hello, baby. You got it on me, baby. Oh, great. Hey, excuse me, sir. Anything else? No, but I got everything I want right here. Move along. Come on, come on, come on, baby. Just a little loose Come on, baby. It's good for you. Good for you, baby. Come on. We got more of the stuff around here. Come on, baby. 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 Come Knocking on the door? No. Now, what you waiting for, baby? Come on, let's go. Where do you think you're taking my wife? <laughs> Your wife? Well, I got news to you, buddy. Everything is free tonight, right? I'm just stupid. Ah! up! take him a hand outside. And take this too. <laughs> <laughs> you get it, you get it? How you mean? Perfect. Perfect, Toots. You can do a better job. I tell you, tell you all today I had that feeling that today was going to be my lucky day, boy. Toots, it's like gold. It's not gold, man. Oil. Sex to soil. <laughs> <laughs> Patience. Look! This look like any oil from Texas! This ain't even coconut oil! Oh my god! That man cuts an order in the blind team! And you are blind idiot! You let that man come, you, you little fool! Those drinks are gonna cost me. But, but you can't blame me. It's not me who went out there with him. You should have checked. But the thing that that man cut and over had his fingers all over me as if I was a piano. You were enjoying your symphony. Ah, shut up. You play wrong and stuff. to be damn glad, boys. You got more sense more than you. Twenty. Forty. Sixty. We got more than two hundred here. You better to blab the trick, eh? You damn thief. How dare you enter here? That's not all I'm gonna do. Oh. Hey, what's happening? Nothing, sweetheart. Alas, my faithful friends, yonder lies my lady's manor, and I must go a courting alone. But there's nothing there. Faithful Athos, it is but five miles hence, and I will cross mountains, oceans, valleys, rivers, creeks, gutters. I will face tigers, lions, to enfold my sweet Genevieve. But why go on foot? Faithful giant, too much traffic. Please, D'Artagnan, let us go with you and face the danger together. Your loyalty overwhelms me, faithful Athos, but I must go alone. And if I'm not back by 12 o'clock, 
call the police. There is danger there for you, D'Artagnan. Let me save you. D'Artagnan. Not D'Artagnan. 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 Nya. 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 I like the way you say Nya. Fear not, my brave giant. I go in this guide. Come on, Frost. Pardon, madame. Do I know you? Oui? Oui, oui, mon chéri. It is me, D'Artagnan. Ah! Et c'est vous, monsieur D'Artagnan. Je suis surpris. Vous m'avez trompé. Je pensais que vous étiez vraiment la femme fatale. Oh, j'ai pas papa sur ta bine de tuer. J'ai pas papa tout seulement ton chien de maman tu. J'ai papa la peau bon sur du cochon. J'ai pas les bons jeunes filles. J'ai pas papa sur les pommes de jambon. Ah. Oh, monsieur, you are taking a very big chance. In this house for you, there is very much danger. Danger? I don't fear the danger for my love, Genevieve. <coughs> I risk my life. Where is Genevieve? Entre, monsieur. I will call her to sleep. Merci, monsieur. Suite de tout. man in this cooperative republic. Oh, I wish I could, my lord. I wish oh, I could. Don't you? Alas, alas, he's here. He must hide. Jeanette, hide him in your room. Oui, madame. Hurry, oui. monsieur, follow me. Hello. Ah, my little rosebud. I'm feeling on top of the world. Oh, I'm so glad. <laughs> Everything seems to be just right. Oh, yeah? Yes, my little one. Nothing can spoil my day. Nothing! Except... No. 
from that dark canyon again. Have you? Huh? Oh, not a word, Father. Good. Because he's nothing but a nincompoop. If he ever sets foot in his house again, I will break his back like this. tonight to arrange the wedding. What wedding? Your wedding, of course. Yes. Oh, no, Father, no, I Hush, can't. Hush, little one. I have already given consent. Look, he's handsome and very well off. As a matter of fact, two wells with plenty of oil. What more can you ask? Look, Genevieve, let's be merry. Let's sing, let's dance. Come on. <laughs> Come on, this is no time for crying. This is your husband's life, dear. Come on, let's dance. Please. Jeanette. Jeanette, I hope you are decent. I am coming in. Jeanette, my darling. How? Who is this lovely maiden you're hiding here, Jeanette? Oh, oh, that is my sister. Your sister? Yes. But, but she's so brown. Oui, monsieur. You see, see I was sunburned in the West Indies. In the West Indies? Oui, monsieur. But Janet, I thought you were from France. Uh, oh, oui, monsieur. But you see, our father was a sailor in Napoleon's army. <laughs> <laughs> and what is your name, my little fruit? My name is Sapatella, monsieur. Sapatella? Oui. I love you. Little sap. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jeanette. Um, Miss Genevieve would like to see you. Oui, monsieur. Respect a woman's feelings, Monsieur. But, but a woman should respect a man's emotion. Monsieur, shh. I hear my sister coming, Monsieur. Your sister? Oui, Monsieur. But when will I see you again? Tonight, Monsieur, in the park at 12 o'clock. But I'm afraid of the dark. Don't worry, Monsieur. I'll fix the headlights for you. Allez, Monsieur, allez. No, allez, Monsieur, allez. allez. S'il vous plaît, Monsieur, allez. Oui, Monsieur. Oui. Demon, oh. that son of a stinking yellow belly millionaire, never. Tell you? No! Is this your new maid? No! My, my, she has a cold. I have heat to burn you to ashes. <laughs> D'Artagnan, 
Now we see you in your right costume. Come, my love. Take your filthy ugly hands off of my Genevieve. Your Genevieve? We oui, must you, my Genevieve. <laughs> May all the spirits of my bearded ancestors rise from their graves if I do not defend the honor of this lady fair. And may all the spirits of my bottles and brewers fill my sinews with super strength that I may slay this oily desert rat that stands within the paths of my eternal bliss. Infidel, I challenge you with my holy God. I challenge you, stone face, with my holy socks. <coughs> 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 So, my little man, you are prepared to meet your destiny? Thus be my density, then. Shall it be pistols or swords? For you, a sword, and for me, pistols. Hmm. So you don't like that, eh? But let it be swords, then. Swords it shall be, at dawn tomorrow morning, in the park, near the statue of the noble surprising Knight of the Devil Cross. Who? I know him not. You will find his statue. In near the north of the Parc des Diables. They will find you when I'm finished. With you, you'll be nothing left. Farewell, my love. Ah. Here are they. Ah, the Arabs are coming. Ah. Darling, how I tremble for you. Fear not, fear maiden. I will protect your honor. Au revoir. <laughs> now, my friend, choose your weapon. Now, before I read the rules to you, let me tell you that my friend over there will take very good care of one of you, the one that will perish. <laughs> Is that surprising, Knight of the Double Cross, or Knight of the Double Chip? <laughs> Fairly funny. I hope you keep it up. Now, gentlemen, before I give you the rules to read, let me tell you the first and most important rule, you are not to kill the referee. <laughs> well, you done, eh? well, gentlemen, I see you have read the rules thoroughly. Now, the big moment has arrived. Have you any documents to sign, any last will and testament? Ah, you are very optimistic. So, gentlemen, get into position. My friend, I see you are injured. Who injured you? Your grandmother. <laughs> very funny. <laughs> now, my friend, when I blow my whistle, you start the fight.
Take my boots off, they're killing me. Oh. Wherefore art thou offense, Romeo? I art here, sweet Juliet. I hear thee, but my eager eyes perceive thee not. Yoo-hoo! I'm here, on the balcony. Tis not fair, sweet Juliet. You're in the balcony. And I'm in the pit. Fear not, Sir Romeo. Saint's heart never did win, fair lady. Yes, but well, tell me, why dost thou occupy the top floor? Why not descend to the bottom floor? My father and mother sleep there. And who sleeps on the me mezzanine floor? My brother sleeps there. It is a poor family. They all sleep on the floor. Beware, there's a fierce dog at your heel. Looking for a meal. Your one comes late, my love. But I'll fix him yet. You see, it is simple when one loves each other. My kingdom. My kingdom for a ladder. What is your problem, Hoppy? My beloved, here is your godfather. Huh? No, I am number one. Is that you, Uncle Marlon? Part one, two, or three? Wait, man, I'm so kind of catch you. I didn't die in your picture. How are you coming, my own? Your cousin, Magalito, had the same problem. But we help him, eh? You think your family will see you down? No. We help you. The family never like to see one of his family down. Do your favor. Yeah. Ah, my love, with the help of the organization, you're backing operation. Oh, playful nymph, my life complete. Hurry, please, the dog is at my feet. Oh, hasten, rent, and throw it hence. What's the use of beauty without brains? What did you say, oh handsome brute? I said, tis your beauty that confused my brain. Lips of yours. Ah, she to teach the torches to burn bright. Ah. It seems she hangs upon the cheek of night. Like a rich jewel in an Ethiop's ear. Beauty too rich for use, for art 
through the air. Did my heart love till now, for spirit sight, for I've ne'er seen true beauty till this night. Oh, lady, trouble follows thine part, thine father cometh. Delay his progress, Madeline. Hurry, quick. He's at but the least. I fear not man or beast. Jack not, Romeo. If my father catches you here, your head would be elsewhere. No, no, a thousand times no. If I can but have your love, I will put an end to this torch in my soul. An end. I do appreciate your sacrifice, but be not impetuous. Why waste your young, beautiful life? You're right, girl. I'm gone. Lady, lady, save your love. Sergeant Tuff, Brickdam Police Station. Is that Mr. Lester? Yes, yeah, Sergeant. What's wrong? We have a man here. He has one of your personal cards on him. Really? Who, who is he? I don't know, but he keeps saying he's happy. <laughs> happy? <laughs> well, if he's happy, why don't you keep him there? Happy? My goodness, I'll be down right away. Thank you, sir. Something wrong with Daddy? I don't know. He hasn't come home yet. He's never been out so late. And he's got all that money with him. Oh. Where am I, baby? You lie down, baby. Your friend is coming for you. I got no friend but you, sweetheart. Hey. Hello, Mr. Lester. You in trouble again? Just take him off. Ah. Ah. Okay, officer. I'll take him off. in here. I don't want that blasted man in here. Just a minute, Mrs. K. I don't want that drunken bastard in here. Let him go back to his women and his bottle. Mrs. K. Happy has had an accident. Accident? What happened? He swallowed a nipple? Mrs. K, please open the door. Mrs. K, Mrs. K, please open. It's me, Vince Lester. Well, it's only because it's you, Mr. Lester. My God. 
God, what happened? Oh, he's had a little accident. Not me much. What really happened? Just a little thing, honey. Nothing to worry over. All these little things can be the end of you. Uh, Mrs. Key, don't worry. Everything is going to be all right. If you need any help, you'll call me, won't you? Thank you very much, Mr. Lester. OK, Lord. Mr. Lester, excuse me, Mr. Lester. I'd like to speak to you. Bye-bye. Where is the money? Where is your wallet? Only $20 US? My God, you've done it! You've lost all our money! But honey, honey. Don't honey me! You drunk and stupid fool! You don't intend to change it! Getting old and still thinking of crazy ways to get rich. Instead of settling down to farm and saving your money and looking after the children properly. I have no idea why I am away with you. Oh, you gotta lost all the money. Oh, God. you he would treat you like that all I can say is you like it that way like it believe the man you're a young woman start a new life but, but I, I love him <laughs> you're crazy not to love a thing like that he's not a thing and I love him yes I love him understand well I'm sorry for you darling because all he loves is the battle and the women. I don't care. I love him. You get out of my house. Go on, get out. <laughs>
If wishes were horses, I'd ride like a king. My head would be dizzy, my heart would sing. And together we'd ride on a merry-go-round and around, and they'd roll out the carpets and trumpets would laugh at the sound. My darling, you'd have more than you could spend. Everything for real, no more to pretend. A car and a yacht and a butler and maid, an oil well or two with royalties paid. And when you feel inclined. All you have to do is let the words fall from your sweet lips. If wishes were horses, I'd surely be rich. My landlord would love me, that son of a witch. But wishes are wishes. And my dreams won't come true without your love to see me through and through. So love me, my darling. Love me, and someday I'll make the bridge. I'll make the scene till then. I got a surprise for you. I didn't sell stone all the crops. You know you're not as crazy as you used to be. Well, I don't know about that, but I know I still love you. <laughs> anyway, what's what to do with the rest of the crops? I have them safely in the storeroom at the farm. On Monday morning, 
I am taking them bright and early to town. And I'm going to sell them to anybody who offers me the best anybody? price. Anybody? Yes, love, anybody. You know something? Hmm? You get really smart, you know. You better believe that, girl. Anyway, you must come straight home. Yeah, these things happen to me. You know that, is it? Come, let me fix the bandage, love. Capture this big bandage? You'll know the police, love. Daddy, hmm? where the cut? Not two weeks ago, you promised to carry us on a picnic. Ah. Uh, Charlie, you don't see your father in pain? Yes. Picnic. It's our right, son, I won't die. We'll go on that picnic tomorrow. Thanks. And mommy will prepare some nice cook up rice, mm -hmm. black pudding, and sauce. And roti and curry. <laughs> sure better. Roti and curry. And chowmin and patties. Mm -hmm. And don't forget the mobby and the ginger beer and lots of music. Mm -hmm. You see, nobody thinks about me, you know. What about the XM? <laughs> Wait a minute. Like your folks going for the whole week. Just like, yeah. Oh, it's, it sounds like pinhead. Yes, must be pinhead. I hope to God nothing will happen in the farm. <coughs> Susan, you look after the baby. No, thank you. The baby Susan's crying. What happened, pinhead? Mr. Kelly, hero. Who? Hero? I, I don't know, Mr. Kelly. But we had teeth in the farm last night. And what's happened to my crops in the storehouse? The thief everything, Mr. Gale. Where is Hero? Where is Hero? Okay. What happened? What happened? They stole. They stole everything off the farm. I'm now to kill the dog, Hero. I can get every son of a bitch for this. This I can't take anymore. And I this too, this too. Don't get yourself in trouble. I trusted you, Pinhead. You and my farm in the crops. And now the kill here and stole most of it. Get back in the farm. You're nothing but a lazy bitch. Get back in the farm. All right, my children. All right, children. Take it too. Take it too. I know how you feel. Pinhead! 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 Oh, don't kill me. Mr. Gay, is you? Yes, it's me. I did just dreaming about you. That means you were sleeping if you'd been just dreaming about me. No, Mr. Gay. Pinhead, listen, you gotta keep watch out here tonight, right? Yeah, Mr. K. I'm gonna watch inside. Yeah, Mr. K. You had any experience with firearms? Yeah, Mr. K. My grandfather was a soldier. That was good for your grandmother. Yeah, Mr. K. Look, be careful with this, right? And take care of the donkey. Yeah, Mr. K. Mr. K, you can't give me a double barrel. They ban double barrels, only single barrels. Uh. And by the way, you got a watch? No, Mr. K. Well, how are you going to wake me at 12 o'clock? By the moon, Mr. K. Well, Pinhead, you pray that the moon comes out at 12 o'clock, <laughs> else you'll see stars. <laughs> yeah, Mr. K. I like to see stars. OK. Take care of yourself on the other donkey. Yeah, Mr. K. Go on, go on. Let's again. 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 Let's
What you get for staying out late. You're so blind that you can't see it's all your fault. If you're carrying the crops in the market on Friday, you won't have to worry about thieves during the weekend. Look, Susan, today is Sunday. I am not well and I don't want to have a quarrel. Morning, Pop. I'm I I I'm I'm fed up. It's not the farm. Is the quarreling, is the problems, too much sun, too much rain, and the bloody man's stone. But happy, you have to carry on. To work and slave for other people to get rich, I'm finished. Finish? You mean with, with the farm? Yes. I'll show you and other people that I could do better than being a lousy farmer. What about the children? Well, Susan, we'll either all starve together or have a happy life. Happy, think about this thing for a few more days, please. The time for taking is over, Susan. This is time for action now. This afternoon, I'm going down to my friend Vince Lester and sell the farm. He likes farming. He says it's good. Or if you don't buy it, Stone will gladly buy it. You don't realize they'll want you to give it away? I'll be giving away problems and trouble. Look, let's have a drink to the death of two dreamers, you and me. Look, Susan, as soon as I sell this farm, things will start happening. We'd live, Susan, we'd live like people. Happy, remember when we used to talk about farming a co-op? Susan, I'm all finished with that. Finish. But why, Happy? Why can't we form a co-op? We can get the farmers together. Everything will be okay. You'll see. Look, girl, I can't handle a couple of men. Much more in a co-op with meetings and more quarrels and arguments. Susan, I am finished with this farming business. But you can't, Happy. You can't. But here, we'll get the people together. We'll form a co-op society. Everything will be okay. We'll get hundreds of acres. We can get a loan, buy a new tractor. Hire a couple of hands. Everything will be okay. You'll see. Look, girl, why you don't stop dreaming, huh? It's all a dream. You always tell me that I waste time and I'm a dreamer. And look at you. Look, love. Have a drink, cool your nerves off, and forget all about it because I am finished with farming. You don't understand. You're not the only farmer with problems. Yes, but they were born to be farmers, not me. Oh, I'm tired of hearing you talk as if farming is the worst job in the world. Oh, it's not? Look at your father. When he died, all he left was some coconuts and oranges. But don't you realize those were different times? In his day, a farm used to get hell to sell his crops. Today, the government are helping farmers. It pays to be a farmer. Well, it ain't paying me. That's the trouble. If my father could have gotten the same prices, 
he would have been rich. Well, it's a pity he died too soon, else you all would have been left better off. Don't feel so sorry for him. He left a proud wife and six healthy children. Even though we were not rich, we were a very contented family. My father didn't aim for the moon and the stars. He taught us to love, to love each other, to love our neighbors. He showed us how to build and not to envy the other man for his own. Although he was a simple farmer, in his own way, he was a great man. Oh, yes, yes, he was a great guy. But he would have been greater if when he died, he had left some land or a house for you all. He had very good friends who loved him and who loved us as if we were his own. Then why you don't carry the children to your good friends and leave me alone and me solve my problems? What nonsense are you talking about? What problems? I told you already I'm going down to Mr. Lester this afternoon to sell the farm. But have you can't go today. Why? Because it's Sunday. Well, because it's sunny, he's going to be home and I'll be able to speak with him privately. Happy, wait a few days more. Uh, wait until tomorrow. Girl, you always telling me to wait, wait, wait. And I waste time. Well, this is not time for waiting anymore. This is one small man going to be a real man. The farm is real. Not for me, baby. Well, what do you children think, eh? Yes, I know. Your mother is always right, but this time your father is right, right on the ball. Daddy. Hmm? Daddy, I think that... Excuse me. Where are you going, huh? Mommy, will you check it out us? You all wait for me. Come and do it. Yes, son, you've been saying something. Daddy, why don't you wait a few more days? Son, I've been waiting years. It's now or never. But, Daddy, what are you going to do if you sell the farm? I got plans, son. But of course, if it don't come true, <laughs> I can always go back to chicken plucking. What's that? Chicken plucking? How do you do that? Yes, Daddy, please tell us. Well, I used to work on this chicken farm. After the big boss gave me the envelope with important contracts and letters, I got on my handle and I dashed off to see Dr. Paramaribo. Boom, boom! My last prescription, use it and come back next week. Thank you, doctor. If you can. Bye. Oh, 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 nurse. Oh, yes, doctor. Go and tell. I can't see any more patient today. Oh, doctor, please don't get sick again. I will pull through all right. Um, 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 please help me to my chair. Yes. Mm. 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 Nurse, I'm expecting the world famous heart specialist, men here. K. Van Hopen Skeeton. Oh, yes, Doctor. Well, I hope Mr. K. Van... Oh, what's his name? Well, I hope he's good. That's all I can say. Good, John. When he comes, you treat him with great respect. Yes, sir. He is a man of many letters and has contract with the world-leading hospital. He only doing me this favor because we went to the medical school together in Netherlands to Leiden. What does he look like? Ah, 
He used to be a very handsome devil. Oh. Well, in that case, I'll be nice to him. You have to. Go and tell the other patient to come back next week. Her half her eye on the doctor. It is very, very important. Yes, doctor. You must have been a beautiful baby. But baby, look at you now. Hello, big boy. Sorry, the doctor's not feeling so good. Can you all come back next week? But nurse, I have a doctor. No, 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 no
very much, Mr. Lester. And thank you, everybody. I'll see you tomorrow. All right. Thank you very much, Mrs. Sampson. The Abbey Bank has been very helpful. Oh, we're always ready to help, Mrs. Key. You should be very proud of your husband for making this decision to form a co-op. Uh, yeah. I'm sorry he was unable to attend this meeting. Well, you know, he felt he had more important things to do. Well, never mind. Good luck. See you all tomorrow. Bye-bye. Goodbye. <sighs> well, I feel better than I did three hours ago. I hope we don't get into any more problems. Oh, no, I don't think we will. But we have to move faster. You do as we planned, and I'll be there tomorrow. I bet it's going to be a surprise. <laughs> Say, how about the children? Well, they'll have to miss school, but that's okay. Well, I must hurry now. Thank you very much, Mr. Lester. Fine. Operation Surprise. Excuse me, Mr. Lester. Mr. K is here to see you. Thank you. very important. Oh, not now, Happy. We're having a little costume party for the kids. Oh, yeah. Enjoy yeah. yourself. Let's have a drink. Uh, bring us a drink, will you please? Yes. Look, it's very important. When we go somewhere, we could be private for at least 15 minutes. Oh, well, not now, Happy. Why not uh, later? I'll tell you what we can do. I'm previewing a show tonight. I'll... Oh, yes. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ah, my little duty. Oh. Now, we're previewing a show tonight. <coughs> And I would like to get your opinion on it. Uh, after the show, it, the show is around 9 o'clock, and um, it will run until about 12. 12? Uh, yes. Uh -huh. I'm afraid it'll be a bit too late for me. You know, I live in the country, then to get a taxi to take me back home. I'll take care of that, Happy. After the show, you could sleep here tonight, have dinner with us, and we will go down and have a look at that farm of yours tomorrow. How about How that? How do you know the farmer came to talk about? <laughs> Don't tell me. What else could it be, Happy? What else could it be? You're always talking about selling the farm and becoming some great singer on stage. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Come on. Oh, that's a... Don't mind how she's 
special preview audience, those were the Yoruba Singers, and now Eddie Hooper and the Dominators, along with a group of students of the National School of Dance, trained by Lavinia Williams, bring you Caribbean Experience, featuring the Jamaica Reggae, Barbados Spooge, Trinidad Calypso, and the Lopi Beat of Guyana, Caribbean Experience. Right on the face of South America. Guyana, there's a lovely land Guyana. called Guyana, where the food is divine and the people are kind and the rum is simply marvelous. That's my land, Guyana. To my sweetheart, last May, on a little holiday, and I lost my sweet love in Montego Bay. The fun, no, no, sorry. Cuckoo and flying fish, oh, what a tasty dish. Lazing by Brandon Beach, me and a lovely peach. Dancing spooch, drinking booze, all this fun in the land of sea and sun. Talk of a country full of color, it's Trinidad. Talk of a country hot like pepper, it's Trinidad. Land of the hummingbird, steel band and calypso. Land known far and white for its carnival. Lovely Antigua, don't believe I'm leaving you out. And also the beautiful island of Montserrat. Clifton, Upstein, Barry and them boys in St. Thomas. My partner, John Allen, in St. Croix. And what about the lovely people in St. Kitts, Deepest, Anguilla, and all the beautiful Caribbean islands. How can you miss such a terrific Caribbean experience? Geographical conditions over there, but I was told of the cold and the blizzards and the icy winds, but I was not afraid. No, I was prepared for it. An old refrigeration expert like me. You should have seen me. I was cool as ice, brave as a bull. Is that all your baggage? Oh, yes, I'm traveling light this time. So. I hope you are comfortable. Oh, I am very comfortable, thank you. Well, could you get ready for takeoff? For me? Yes, all of us. 
Welcome aboard your BWIA Sunjet flight, now leaving for London. Please bring your seats to an upright position, observe the no smoking sign, and fasten your seat belts. Thank you. I was glad to be back home. And the first thing I did, I took my girlfriend with me and we went on a picnic. Oh, it was wonderful. I enjoyed myself. I felt like Tars. Jen Bo. Catch me if you can, Tarzan. Last night was very good. I think you have a hit there on your hands. Where are you putting them drinks last night? <laughs> what did I put? You slept like a babe, that's what I know. You know I was up since 6 o'clock? 6 huh? o'clock. I had a lot of things to get done. It's 10 o'clock now, Lester. You know, my wife must be worried home and the kids. No, no, no. They're not worried. I told them. I sent a message to say that you were sleeping with me last night. So you're all fixed. Beautiful, because you know Susan. Well, she's a good wife. She should be worried. Now, seriously, Mr. Lester, um, I am selling my farm, and I've come to you first about it. Mm -hmm. Why are you selling it? Huh? Well, it's causing me a lot of problems, right? And farming is not me. But, Happy, I don't understand. Why do you want to sell your farm? Why? Is it something, yeah. some problems you have? The point is that I, I am fed up with this farming business, right? It is actually causing a separation with me and my wife. Isn't your farm a valuable thing to you? Is it? It has no value? It has value, yes, Mr. Lester. You know this because you were up there at one time. Mm -hmm. I mean, how much you offer me for it? Happy, if I bought the farm from you, it would not be an investment for profits. It would be as a hobby. You know I can't go into farming as full time. Yeah, but you always said you love farming. Well, you know, <laughs> love it as a hobby, perhaps. Now, look, I mean, you went up there, as I said before, you know the land, you know the value of the farm. About three years ago, it was valued $12,000, and today it is valued $20,000. Mm -hmm. You're a good mathematician. Go ahead. Well, in any language, 12 and 8 is 20. Mm -hmm. So you're asking me to buy it for 20000 happy? No, but well, I mean, you, you make an offer to me, right? I mean, how much you give me for it? Uh -huh. I mean, you're a businessman. You know these things. $5,000. $5,000. Thousand yes, dollars, so. Lester. You gotta be laughing at me. You crazy? No, I'm not. Five thousand dollars? No, no. Lester, you gotta be laughing at me. Let's go. Let's go. Look, let's get serious, Lester. I, I'm, 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 I've got problems, right? Fifteen thousand dollars is a deal. 
5,000 happy. I mean, this is all they teach you in school to count up to 5,000. Look, $12,000 and all is yours. Happy, all I can offer you is 5,000. Look, Lester, $10,000 and you take the whole thing off of my arms. Have a seat, go inside. $5,000, Happy. $5,000, Lester? We're supposed to be friends. Is this how friends treat each other? You'd be surprised. I think I'd better go on and have a look at that farm of yours after all. You serious? Yes, I think I may be able to offer you more than 5,000. Mm -hmm. You mean it? Yes, sure. Okay, but I hope we agree on the price, you know. Why not? Uh, Good buddy, this is what I want. Hey, you know something? Mm -hmm. Susan's gonna be very disappointed over this, you know. But I can't help it, it's just one of these things. Let's go. Congregation, Mr. Gay. Right, thanks, thanks. Hello, love. Hello, Who's this gentleman? Oh, this is Mr. Williamson, the Agri Bank. Agri Bank. Oh, good. Hi, Evans. Hi, Oscar. You from the Agri Bank, eh? Well, how much you offering? <laughs> Normally, it would have gone up to $15,000. But seeing here Mr. Lester's involved, you know, it would be a better view. Well, an advantage, anyway. I mean, who's buying? You are or Lester? Happy. Nobody's buying. What do you mean, nobody's buying? I spoke to you. That's why you come to see Buddy Farm. Uh, I don't understand. Uh, Susan, darling, let explain. me explain. The Agri Bank, Mr. Williams, has lent us $25,000 to help with the drainage, fix up the fence, and to get a tractor. $25,000, Susan? When will I be able to pay that back? Me alone. You no. put me in, in, in a bigger boat now. You won't be alone, now. happy. You won't be alone. Come, darling, let me explain. Uh, Oscar, let's go. Susan, you've ruined all my plans. You don't know what you've done to me. Oh, Hop, come let me show you something before you get angry. Show me what? Come on. Rich, rich. 
wife and a child, two, three or four. A little bit of luck and you can get some more and be rich, 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 rich. I'm going back to the land. The good earth is mine with its rich clay, mud and sand. As long as I've got love with me cutlass and me hoe, with me shovel and me spade. Better believe it, never gonna leave it. I've got it made. I'm rich, 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 rich. Me good friends to help me sow and reap. The years that passed me by, I must have been asleep. I'm gonna wake up, wake up. Yes, that is all over now. I'll work for my bread. By the warm sweat of my brow, as long as I've got love. With the sunshine and the rain, and the cool breeze in the face. <laughs> Better believe it, never gonna leave it. I found my place. The song in my heart is the same, always the same. Yes, I'm just the same. I'm aiming high, but there will be some changes made. I'm going to be growing what the world wants to buy And that's why I'm rich, 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 rich To be a millionaire I used to pray But living close to nature is the only way to be rich, 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 rich Oh, what a great way to feel I'll shout it aloud that this little man is real As long as I've got love I no longer have to cry For that rainbow in the sky Better believe it, never gonna leave it I've got it made As long as I've got love I found my place As long as I've got love I'm rich As long as I've got Now, that ought to make you very happy, Mr. K. Mommy, look, he's kissing the tractor. <laughs> That's because he's happy, darling. And when 